Hi, Bill Lanting, America's allergist. So today I'd like to go through another type of asthma medication. It's, they're called leukotriene antagonists. Big words, right? What does it mean? These are anti-inflammatory pills, but they're not steroids, and they help asthma. So they're not taken alone usually. They're added into your inhaled steroid and your long-acting uh, uh, dilator. Okay? It depends on what kind of asthma you have, what induces it, how severe you are, how old you are. There are all these different things that your doc thinks about when he prescribes these medications. So these leukotriene antagonists do two things. The first is there's this chemical called leukotrienes, and it's an inflammatory chemical. Now, in some people, the milder asthmatics, it doesn't do much for them, you don't have to block it. But as your asthma becomes more severe, then you want to not have that chemical produced. So these medicines stop that. The other thing that they do is that they don't let eosinophils into the airway. What does that mean? What is all this scientific stuff? Eosinophils are just a type of white cell that are in your body, okay? And I like to tease that these are like the teenager cells. They kind of just swim, they, you know, surf the blood, and they're just hanging out, and they have no purpose in life. They're just hanging, uh, no responsibilities at all. But when there's an area of inflammation, that inflammation puts out a signal, and that says, ooh, eosinophils, we're having a party, come on down and they're invited to come to that area of inflammation. So the eosinophils go to the airway where it's inflamed and they release five separate chemicals of inflammation. And that makes things worse. So if you have all these eosinophils going in there and causing inflammation, you can say, oh, I can give more stuff for the inflammation. Yes, but what if you could stop the signal? What if you could not put up the free advertising sign so that they wouldn't come? And that's the other thing that leukotriene antagonists do. They stop the invitation for those eosinophils to come into the airway. So we have two different products on the market these days. I'm sorry, there's three actually. Uh, one, and the most popular, is Singulair, a pill once a day that stops one of the leukotrienes from being produced. Then there's something called Xylutan, and what that does is it blocks three of the different uh, leukotrienes that are produced. Uh, so those are the two big ones that are used here in the United States these days. Um, again, it depends on the severity of your asthma and uh, you know, what your doc thinks is the appropriate medicine for them. Uh, one of the big differentiations is that in our children, really, we just use Singulair because it's approved down to four months of age, which maybe only water is. I mean, that, that's pretty safe. Uh, whereas the uh, Zyflo or Zylutin, we like to use in older adolescents or adults. So again, leukotriene antagonists, fancy long name, all they do, they're anti-inflammatory pills that aren't steroids that add to your asthma care so that you get what you're looking for, which is no symptoms, no restrictions, no limitations, great control, wonderful normal life. I'm Bill Lanting, America's Allergist.